Nelson Mandela was a civil rights activist, writer, lawyer, and the president of South Africa. He was born on July 18, 1918 in South Africa. He was born a royal because his father was chief of the tribe Tembu. He went to a local missionary school for elementary school. His birth name was Raholi Lala, which means troublemaker, but he was given the name of Nelson in second grade by his white teacher. It was a common practice to give African students English names. Then he went on to Clarkberry Boarding Institute and Helton, a Methodist high school, where he excelled in boxing and track, as well as academics. He gave up the opportunity of being chief of his tribe so he could continue school. He was the first one to attend school in his family. His father had four wives. Nelson was the youngest of 12 children. His father died of lung disease when he was only nine and he was adopted by his father's friend. He was also the new chief of Temple. Many people call him Ladiba, his clan name to this day. When Nelson learned that people in his tribe had arranged for someone to marry him, he ran away to Johannesburg to become a night clerk. This is the time when he got to college. In 1909, the British people came and invaded South Africa and took over the government. They set up a new law called apartheid. Apartheid is a way of not giving non-white people the same amount of rights as white people in South Africa. They use laws to keep people separated by race. With the laws of apartheid, blacks could not have a voice in government, were not able to socialize with whites, and they couldn't travel outside their living area without government approval. Nelson Mandela and South Africa's government party, the ANC, the African National Congress, didn't like it. The native black African people didn't have the same rights as white African people in South Africa, even though there were more, na more native pe black African people than white people, and the blacks were the original people in South Africa. Nelson Mandela went to University of Fort Hare, which is kind of like an Ivy League school where he was studying law. But he got expelled for organizing a protest against white rule and apartheid. He eventually didn't finish school through, and he became a lawyer. He opened the first black firm, firm in South Africa. He became an activist with the African National Congress against apartheid. And later, he became their leader. When he was protesting, he made a, a, many a public appearances, talking about how bad apartheid was, which made the government even more mad than before. All of his protests were nonviolent, as he followed in the ways of Gandhi. Eventually, the ANC was banned. When the ANC was banned, Nelson started a secret army called Spear of the Nation. He would ask... He would also ask for other countries for help, the Spear of the Nation. He planned to bomb some building, buildings to get attention. And because of this, they found him guilty of being a terrorist, and he got a life sentence in jail. In 1964, he went to prison. They made him do physical labor and also made him sleep on the hard cement floor, even in winter, and his toilet was a bucket. While he was in jail, he was secretly talking to the current president of South Africa about his escape. He didn't escape, but instead he got freed. The whole time in jail, there was an international campaign to set him free. Countries stopped all the interactions with South Africa until he was freed. He was finally released on February 11, 1990. He got released because everybody wanted him out of jail. After being released from jail, he went on to continue making public appearances about apartheid in South Africa and then to running for president for the National Congress Party. He became president of South Africa in 1994. When he became president, apartheid ended and all Africans and all people were allowed to sit on the same benches and eat in the same places. 
Mandela got married three times, and he had six children in total. His marriage to his second wife had ended in divorce in 1992 because he was in jail so long. His mom and only son died when he was in prison, but he was not allowed to go to their funeral. On his 80th birthday in 1998, Nelson Mandela got married to his third wife, 1998 to death. Widow of the former president of Mozambique, Nelson won the Nobel Peace Prize with former white president Frederick William D. Clerk in 1993. He also won over 695 awards throughout his life. He became the first black president of South Africa, 1994 to 1999. In 2009, the United States declared July 18th Nelson Mandela International Day. The purpose of the day is to honor Nelson Mandela's legacy and promote community service. Nelson Mandela died on December 5, 2013, at age 95 from a recurring lung infection. Nelson Mandela took a risk to stand up for what he believed was right. He could have been killed. In fact, one of his quotes said, But my Lord, if it need be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. It made a change in South Africa because it stopped the apartheid, and now there is peace in South Africa. Nelson Mandela changed South Africa for the better by completely eliminating apartheid and making sure that the natives can rule their own country.